This is a really cool rock from Gympie. We've got three photographs of the same side of the rock. This one is a top view, capturing the top. This looks like a face. And this one, obviously the rock bends away and there is a bottom section which is included on this view. So changing the perspective so that you can see the bottom, it changes the pattern. You see how everything has, has changed um, with the tilt. So all of these angles and lines have moved. And the same thing happened with this one. To look at it from above, uh, all of these lines no longer can be overlaid with this because they're, they're three different faces. However, on the landscape, overlapping is each of these three patterns. So that is incredible vision to be able to create this, as well as many other questions about how they do this. Start looking at these and then just go work your way around it and rewind as many times as you need to. Just look at each area and then you'll see. They always capture these straight lines. They're important. Have a look at these hills through here. This area whole area looks like an ear and they've definitely noticed that and shaped this object as an ear. And here is the top view that looks like a head. And here they've taken this nose looking and eye. So they see a bit of a face here and now they've done it as a face. But this has moved the object across the landscape. We're in a different position now. So now we'll go to the end view and by matching the bottom area of the rock with this spot, it reorients the whole rock across the landscape again. And now we have this view. Still matching up everywhere. And here is another rock with two sides, 
first thing to do is not just notice these lines coming through this way. And the other side. 